All right, we're back here again on the 94 Saturn SL1. We got to replace the uh, upper radiator hose. It's swollen quite severely. We have, this car needs a new head gasket. So it's been, you know, the engine's kind of milky. It's got some oil and water and mixing. Um, so let me bring you over here to the car and I'll show you exactly what the problem is. We've had um, this car for about three months. And you can see right here, the radiator hose, it's pretty swollen. And this looks like a blister about ready to pop. So we got a new hose here. We're going to go ahead and put this on. Uh, what's entitled, we have to take off the air box, the tubing, up to the throttle body, and this little vent. It's pretty simple. And then we just got two standard screwdriver right here and here. All right, our first step, just going to take some pliers and squeeze this clamp. Pull that hose off. Squeeze this clamp, pull that off, and then just remove that. It's got a standard screwdriver. Just gonna remove that screw, really simple. Okay, and then slide it out of the way. Now you can see that this is pretty creamy. You can kind of see that. That's a, a definite reason that we need to replace the head gasket because this is just like milk. Okay, and that's another reason that this hose is swelling up. So I'll try to like, you know, not spill this as much as possible because I don't want to make a mess. All right, I wanted to kind of show you this. If you can see how creamy that is. I mean, it doesn't look like milk, doesn't look like antifreeze, it's just brown. Uh, it's, a lot of times this will be a foamy, whitish color, but that's the oil and the antifreeze mix and that's why we have that color. So, uh, like I was saying, this is definitely a reason that we need to replace uh, the head gasket, which will be a future video here, probably in the next week or so. Um, just got to find some time to put the car down, you know. So anyway, I'm taking I'm the bolt the top end. Okay. Now, I want to try to get it to where it doesn't leak a lot. I don't want to lose all the fluids, okay. So what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to have this hose ready, just because I don't want to clean it up and you know have to drain all the oil and everything out of it or all the water so I just want to break this loose and then as kind of as fast as I can put this on I'll put the other one on okay so I've got it broke loose now I'm ready with this other one okay so see how painless that was and uh, that'll really help with our cleanup as it's already messy All right, now I've removed the clamp off of the other hose. And what I'm gonna do is just basically slide this down and position it where I would like it. And I've gotta also rotate the hose. Now, the reason I showed you how to do it this way is I'm just trying to save my cleanup because I know that this already has an issue with you know the oil mixing and everything I'm gonna take this one on put it in its position okay and then just kind of fish that down there now I did spill a little bit but it was very very minimal okay so now the hose is in position and all I have to do is tighten it down And that's it. All right, we're gonna start it up. Test for leaks. All right, everything looks good. No leaks that I can see. All right, so we're gonna pack it up. All right, so we've got the hose in, we've got the clamps tightened down. I'm just gonna take my pliers and I'm gonna put in the throttle body side first. Get it in position. Okay. And we'll be doing a, another whole set of videos and removing all this same stuff on our next uh, video series when we do the head gasket. So if uh, 
you need to get a little bit deeper into this engine we'll have some some more videos coming soon so but anyway that's pretty much all there is to doing this job so we'll uh, give a test run and see how she does all right so we just finished it up did a test run look for leaks everything seems to be fine uh, like I've said several times in this video I know that the oil and the antifreeze is mixing we need to uh, do a head gasket on this car uh, one of the next videos you'll probably see is we're gonna be replacing the ignition switch it's got kind of it's kind of stick sometimes so we'll be replacing that on a video we'll also be resetting the gas gauge replacing the fuel sending unit because we suspect the fuel sending unit has got corrosion on it and it's not reading the gas gauge it's always empty there's also some videos on YouTube uh, that talk about how to reset that and so we'll create a video and then we'll put some links to that one as well so uh, hopefully you guys like this video you know I'm trying to do new things uh, not just custom stuff but how to videos that have a lot of people on YouTube a lot of comments are being posted that you'd like to see just automotive repair so if you're wondering kind of why some of the videos go this way we've done you know woodworking videos we've done all kinds of um, different types of videos you know with some of the clients that we work for just to kind of give our channel some variety so hopefully you guys like them um, and our new shop we love it it's big roomy we got a lot of light in here as opposed to the one we had in California it was pretty dark so hopefully you guys are enjoying the new set so all right we'll talk to you guys in the next video